Hello and welcome to Splotch Code. In this mini lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use costumes to change what your character looks like and make it look there like they're walking, as well as change him so he's facing the other direction. So to start with, we have a sprite here called, which is our dog too. At the moment, I have a little bit of code written here that tells him where to start on the screen and then he's to move 100 steps towards the cat. So how, let's have a look at what that looks like. I click on that now. He just moves towards the cat. It doesn't really look like he's walking. What we want to do is we want to use the costumes that we have available for this dog to make it look like he's walking. So let's go over to the costumes. So we've got the dog selected and we go to the costumes. And you'll see there's three different costumes. Dog A, Dog B and Dog C. Now Dog C doesn't isn't part of his walking. So let's get rid of that one. So now... We've got dog A and dog B, and if we flip between them quickly, you can see it would make him look like he's walking. If I go back over to the code now, what I want to do, I'm just going to pull that apart, and what we want to do is we want him to only move a tiny bit and then change costumes. So we'll make him only move 10 steps. We'll go to looks, and we'll find the command called next costume. We'll put that there. We then want that to do that 10 times, so he mo still moves 100 spots, but every 10 he changes his costume. So let's go to control and let's put, put a repeat 10 in around that. And now click that back on. Okay, so what we'll have a look at now is he starts in that spot and he walks towards the cat and it looks like he's actually walking now. And that's the advantage we have of using the costumes. Another way we can use costumes is to have them change the direction that they're, they're looking or at the start. So you'll see that our cat is facing away from our dog. If we want to have it change so that as the dog's walking towards him, the cat is actually facing, so it looks like they're going to have a conversation, we can do that using his costume. If we go to the cat and we go to his costume, and you'll see at the moment he's set for this costume here, we can go up here and we can flip horizontally and that will just turn him around, which is what we want him. We want him to be facing our character. So if they were having a conversation in a story or something like that. So let's go back to our dog now and have a look at our code. And so the dog walks towards the cat and the cat's facing the right way. So there's a couple of ways you can use costumes to change the way your characters look. Thanks for watching Splotch Code.